Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another land mining vehicle, and this one is called the Badger Mole Mark II, which is this lovely thing right here. So this small vehicle utilizes WIP's turret script to allow you to control the drills at the front there with your mouse, so you can move it up and down, left and right, to get into those hard to reach places. Pressing F10 and finding the Badger Mole in the spawn menu, there it is, this thing is 366 small blocks, using no mods, but it does use the script to make the drills function. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside, and then we'll put it to the test against one of these mountainsides and see how well it handles. So coming all the way around over to here, this is what we get. We've got an LCD screen in front and center, which is displaying nothing, but we could always set it up with another script if we wanted to. To the left and the right there, we've got some advanced rotors which have been connected onto our drills, and the drills are connected onto a piston to allow them to extend out away from the body of the vehicle. We've got some spotlights as well to light up the darkness in case we go deep into a cave, and some cameras just to help aim them in case they get jammed in the place and you need to know why they're stuck. This has all been attached onto another advanced rotor which goes down to a medium cargo container, which is our main form of storage. We also have a sneaky little battery there at the front to keep this thing powered, and it's been protected by some black and orange blocks. As we move around the side there, we're going to see a bunch of large wheels to make sure we can roll across the surface without damaging this vehicle. We come all the way over to here, beside our cockpit we have a projector block, and then below our cockpit we've got a programmable block, which is where our script is being held. A time block there as well, which has all been set up, and we see even more batteries just going along the main body of this vehicle. We just come away from that and move towards the back, that's how everything's been set up. We've got some more little pistons here which are for decoration, they're mainly there for, say, for support. If we pull away from there and move towards the back, this is what we get, another medium cargo container and a connector to unload all your goods with a little button there which we can press later on. If we come up and above there, we're going to see even more medium cargo containers as well as our fighter cockpit to a driver this thing. If we just move along because there's not too much else to talk about, we've got an O2H2 generator and then moving all the way further down below this, we'll get a good look underneath where we're not going to see too much, just a lot more blocks where it's all been protected underneath. And there's the very back, we've got another sneaky little programmable block and too much else. It's quite a nice little area in here for some odd reason. Just sort of slot yourself in here and you'll be nice and protected. Coming out of there, it's time to head into my character. And what we'll do is come around to the back and press that button. So over to here, we can press that. Now now activate the pistons below there and lift us off the ground. It's not too stable. That's why I said you wouldn't be using this, because they don't clip onto the ground. So if you do this on a wonky surface, you are going to slide around a little bit, but it's there if you want to repair underneath the vehicle. So let's just go and drop that all the way back down, and there we go. So now coming all the way around to here, we're going to get into the cockpit, and we'll go through what this thing can do. So number one is going to be to toggle the drills, where we can use our left mouse to spin it around and collect up all the goods. Number two is going to be to unlock our rotors, all the rotors, so if we were to turn that off and move the mouse up and down, we'll now move that up and down, and left and right, we'll turn it around. So there we go, let's just go and lock that in place. Number three is going to be for our pistons, so if we press that, we'll extend all the way out and away from the body of our vehicle to make sure we can mine without getting too close. So let's just go and put that all the way back in. Number four and number five is going to be for our cameras, which are just below our drills. And number four is going to be for the right, and number five is going to be for the left. So there we go, we can zoom all the way in, all the way out, and see what's going on. Tab number two, three, and four is empty, so let's give it a little drive around, and then we'll start mining. So going forwards, we have got a slow amount of speed. We don't want to go too fast with this vehicle, especially not when it's full of resources and when the drills are full of resources, otherwise we're going to become a bit wonky when going over a slight lump. Just turning around there, yeah, we don't have too much risk of falling over and turning around like that. We're not going to be falling over anytime soon with the set speed. So we've now extended them all the way out. I don't think we're going to be able to do too much. I'll start doing the remove the terrain one, like so, and hopefully we can start to make a maybe a little hole in the ground. So there we go, I've now tilted that all the way down, I've put the parking brakes on, 
and we should be able to make ourselves a little lump where we can tilt into and we can start to drill along. Let's just get rid of some of those signals. There we go. We're now going to slowly try and make ourselves a little hole there. And then reverse them all the way back in. And we should be able to just sit in like so. Put the parking brakes on. And now we can extend that out. And we can start to drill a hole through this mountainside. Then we can start collecting stuff. So now that we're nice and safe, there's no risk of us rolling back down this mountainside. Let's just go and start collecting up some resources. And that just about does it. So if we pull that away and come out of that camera, we are now completely full up of resources. So pressing I and coming over to here. There we go. We've got a nice lot of stone inside here. Plenty of places to store all our resources in. So we've got our drills, our connectors, and of course our cargo containers. Then we just reverse all the way out here and see what changes with our control when trying to drive this thing around. I should have probably put that back on place. So there we go. We've now locked that back in place. And let's just turn around like so and give this thing another go driving around the Mars-like surfers. So going forwards, we are a lot more slower than we were. Or we might be the same. It's quite hard to tell. Let's just go for a little turn around here. Now, we seem to be perfectly fine. It seems like there's no risk of this tipping over at all when going over a slope. But one thing we can do to finish this off is find our wheels and, well, remove the speed limit. So there we go. Let's go and put some more power in there. A bit more strength. There we go. That's what we want. So that is it for the Badger Mole Mark II. It's a nice little mining vehicle if you want to do a spot of mining and don't really need a big vehicle. We've got plenty of room on this to store a nice lot of resources in and it's very easy to use thanks to that script. But as for that, that is it for this little vehicle. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do want to play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.